Welcome and congratulations to all of you about to become Canadian citizens on Canada's birthday, July 1st, 2013. It's been said that the most important job in any effective democracy is the job of citizen. I simply ask that you take a very active, involved and outspoken approach to your new job. But I think you'll agree with me that when I say it's the best job in the world. You know, we're a young country compared to many of the places that you've come from. But we're strong, we're vibrant, we're progressive, and we're that way because of the strengths that you bring to this experiment that we call Canada. Many of us here today have different beliefs and different backgrounds, but what connects us is our home and our community. That connection is even more evident in how Albertans have reached out and supported one another in dealing with the unprecedented flooding in southern Alberta. We're so happy you chose Canada, chose Alberta, but most most pleased you chose Edmonton. We wish you much luck in your lives as Canadians. There's no better passport we really have in the world, no better country to be a part of. So all of you, thank you very much for choosing us. We're much blessed because you did. Today, there are 61 candidates taking the oath of citizenship from 22 different countries. Canada has welcomed generations of newcomers who have helped build a free, law-abiding and prosperous society. Today, ladies and gentlemen, you receive your Canadian citizenship. Carry it with pride. I would like you to raise your right hand. If you have a holy book, please put the book in your left hand. Raise your right hand. I swear, I swear. that I will be faithful, that I will be faithful. And, bear and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, Queen, Elizabeth II. Queen of Canada, Queen of Canada. Her, heirs her heirs and successors, and that I will faithfully observe, will faithfully observe the, laws of Canada, the laws of Canada and fulfill my duties, and fulfill my duties as, a citizen. as a Canadian citizen. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. Felicitations. You are now Canadian citizens in both English and French. For the Cana new Canadians, this is the first time. This is your anthem now. Aisha Habib, Muhammad Kasim, Farooq Azam Habib, Rovena Kwadano, John Persia, John Boatem Samara, Arsimran Bakal, and Anisha Parvez, Margaret Nanda Afula, Lydia Perez, Ismael Guerra, Tsunami Garcia, Ismael Hernandez, Lai Pong Yu, Fang Yu Cheng, Yang Tung Yu, Mitali Jani, Taslim Bola, Yi Fang Su, Harpreet Dalival, Yasser Abdul Salam, Mohamed Bengueda, Suwar Buhala, Inez Bengueda, and then Ryan Bengueda, Asterio Herrera, Maria Herrera, Leon Herrera, Volki Quema, and Eros Quet, Chai Tali J, Rick Magdado, Shi Wu, and Siu Wong, Chaba Guthi, Erika Lishnai, Elena Anto, Robi Confrayas, Gog Dean Lak, Farah Mir, Soraya Gaysar, Mark Jason Basher, Mark Basher, Mei Feng, Hong Sun Lin, Wilma Berryman, Oleksand Kobren, John Tippett, then Samia Afta, Gary Murawski, Maria Edulan, Emelda Castaneda, Stephanie Lucero. Canada is the best place in the world in my opinion. Better than America, nicest people and my entire family. My dad obviously had to come here for a job, but obviously I think the main reason why he picked Canada was a better education system. Better education system for us, the kids. And I think in the long run, as a future, I think I'll definitely better like uh, job and like job selection over here as well. Uh, because Canada is uh, one of the first countries in the world to live, one of the best. That's the reason why we choose Canada. Canada Day is a time to celebrate our heritage, immortalized by authors and artists, to rejoice in the discoveries of our scientific researchers, to celebrate the successes of our entrepreneurs, and to commemorate our history. Remember that being a Canadian means more than simply having a piece of paper. <clears throat> it means sharing a common set of values, having rights and responsibilities, and being a full member of Canadian society. Always remember your duties and responsibilities. 
Take the words of the oath of citizenship to heart. The bond of the oath is between you and your fellow Canadian citizens. The Constitution Act of 1982 contains the Charter of Rights and Freedoms and opens with, whereas Canada is founded upon the principles that recognize the supremacy of God and the rule of law. As Canadians, we must obey the laws of Canada. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police and police enforce the law and keep people safe. As Canadians, we live in a free and democratic society where individual rights and freedoms are respected and in turn we must respect the rights and freedoms of our fellow Canadians. Today Canadians have freedoms and choices because of the sacrifice of these tens of thousands of men and women who fought to make Canada the country that attracted you to becoming Canadians. As a Canadian you have the right to vote, the right to run as a candidate for municipal, provincial and federal elections. Men and women are equal in every aspect of life and have the right to do any job that talent and hard work can obtain. You have the freedom of speech, freedom of press, and freedom of association. And as of today, you will be able to apply for a Canadian passport, one of the most respected passports in the world. In return, Canada asks you to obey the law, for no one in Canada is above the law, vote in elections, serve on juries when called to do so, and take responsibility for yourself and your families. We live in a country that promotes non-discrimination, tolerance, equality. We Canadians often take this for granted because it is part of our everyday life. But to those of you who have lived in countries that are not peaceful, free or democratic, it is a marvel. For here in Canada, you have the opportunity to make choices, to make a better life for yourself and for your families.